Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more diamonds and rares. Now coming up first, this was an incredible server over on Emerald Coast I found over in multiplayer. It had been a while since I saw a rare croc. Um, ever since, it, well, Emerald Coast came out and I got a light brown. This is gonna be my second one and this guy scored silver. And here we are on the same map, guys. This is the same server. I just kept going to Croc Zones. It looked to be a brand new map, which is the best map to find over in multiplayer. I've been hopping multiplayer a lot more recently, trying to find the diamonds and rares I don't have yet. And I thought this was an albino at first, but on second glance, I was pretty positive uh, he was a piebald. He let out a couple little stretches there, which was really cute. I never knew they did that. So I never knew a crocodile could look that adorable. But this guy is a big boy. He scored gold at eight, uh, 817.62, and he is a piebald. I have been finding some pretty interesting things over on Emerald Coast on multiplayer. Um, out of all the maps I hop around on on multiplayer, it seems to me I find the most trophies on Emerald Coast for whatever reason, especially if it's a new map. So at this time, I had no trophy hog deer at all. I saw a level 5, completely freaked out, but sadly, he did end up trolling me. After hunting hog deer for a very long time, I finally found a trophy. Now, he is a level 4. He's a small level 4, but I saw some white on this guy and was pretty positive. He was a piebald and didn't have any diamonds. Still don't have any diamond hog deer. No rares, so really happy about finding this guy. And there he is. He is a silver at 77.84. When I was out hunting the hog deer, I ended up spotting something very interesting. A very white stubble quail. Now, since she was just a female and I was in multiplayer, I took her quick as I could. I don't really mind taking uh, the females grounded uh, just because they don't end up making a big trophy rating anyway. But there she is. She is indeed an albino and she is beautiful. Blue wildebeest tend to make diamond a whole lot at level four. Maybe more than any animal. Well, no, the banting. The banting and the blue wildebeest seem to make diamond at level four a lot. This guy had pretty big horns and a huge estimate, so I was hopeful he would make it, and he did. Up till this point, I didn't have any rare male reindeer, which is insane considering the amount of reindeer I've shot since I started playing the game. But this guy was pretty white, so I knew that he was going to be um, either an albino or a leucistic. And here he is. He is a leucistic, and he is a level 3 at 217.41. On my hunt for a rare reindeer, and I end up finding a lot of them, but they're mostly female. Right here, we have a piebald female. She's pretty small. Still, I absolutely love the patterns on these piebalds, and I'm hoping to get a big one one day. We did get a terrible shot on her, but she is down. Again, on another server over on multiplayer, I ended up finding another rare reindeer, but sadly, yet again, it was only a female. I wasn't sure if this was albino or leucistic. I think it's pretty cool that some of the species have both. I think caribou may have albino and leucistic as well, but there she is. She's just a bronze at 93.78. I really don't hunt Quattro Kalinas enough. Decided to jump around on different servers, uh, again on multiplayer, seeing what I could find. And this was the first trophy that I found, a beautiful little pie ball. Now, I have a couple of these already, but they are gorgeous. I think they have one of the most beautiful pie ball patterns in the game. And there she is looking adorable. On the same server, I kept looking for roe deer, and look what I spotted, guys. This is the very first level 3 roe deer I've ever seen. Uh, very first diamond. Unbelievable. I was really, really hoping that this was not going to troll. I had to go get the right gun. Managed to make it back in time before the uh, drink time ended. And going to drop him right here with the 22250, which is an amazing gun. I think it comes with the Emerald Coast DLC. If you haven't got it already, get it. And there he is. He did make diamond at 85.58. 
I normally spot the mouflon over in their eating zones, but I ended up spotting a big level five over in his rest zone and just happened to spot him and sneak up in time to drop him. It seemed like it took forever to sneak up here close to this guy and they seemed to spook pretty easy. So I was glad I was able to get a shot on him and there he is. He did make diamond at 185.34. I'm back on the whitetail grind doing whitetail moose and fallow as always. I've gave the bears a little bit of a break, but I will come back to them in hopes of getting that spirit one day. Uh, so managed to spawn this guy in. He looks like a smaller level two, and I think I've only managed to get like maybe three or four, no, maybe four or five, sorry, albinos at this point. I had some on the old account and now some on this one doing the grind. And there he is. He is a silver and he scored 189.25. And this is how the moose grind is going, so no great one, but we do have a tiny, tiny little uh, level 2 piebald. Maybe the tiniest piebald I've seen on the grind. I'm still really trying for that two tones. I've got to get it, guys. And I'm really hoping I don't get another twin. Heck, I'm hoping I don't get another spider rack, but anything at this point would be awesome. There he is. He's really small, and he scored 115.29. Still hoping to find my light colored piebald mule deer. I think this has been the hardest trophy I've ever tried to spawn ever. I mean, doing grinds has not worked on several different maps and now I'm resorting to multiplayer hopping. Still grinding now and again on my own maps, but I am finding a lot of diamonds, which is awesome. This guy ended up scoring 323.64. At least I did end up finding a rare, and of course, it's another dilute, and he is a big level 4, though. I only have uh, one more level 4 dilute. I think he's pretty big as well, uh, but there he is. We dropped him, and he ended up scoring 232.82, and he is a gold. Over on the fallow grind, I am getting a lot of diamonds and getting a few rares here and there. This one is pretty tiny. He looks to be close to a level two. He's so small and it looks like we got a pretty bad shot on him. But there he is. He is an albino and he ended up scoring 140.58. So that's it, y'all. I highly suggest getting out there on multiplayer and hopping around different maps, seeing what you can find. I know it's not ideal over on console. We can't see the time, which is something I really hope that they can change in the future. But when you hop around enough maps, hopefully you'll find the animal you want to hunt. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and thanks so much for watching.